Staying at the State House, a statewide smoking ban is one step closer to becoming law. And as News 10's Joe Ostrowski tells us, the proposal is lighting up some real controversy. With the Super Bowl just days away, football fans are flocking to Indiana. While some workers are clearing the streets, lawmakers in Indianapolis say they want to clear the air for visitors by clearing public places of cigarette smoke. We should at long last enact a law to protect workers and patrons across Indiana from the hazards of secondhand smoke. Today, the Indiana House of Representatives passed a bill that would outlaw smoking in most public places. The bill would give bars 18 months to go smoke free. Supporters say the bill would reduce the impact of secondhand smoke for employees. Secondhand smoke that health workers say is dangerous. Because anytime you inhale that smoke, you're stopping your body's natural process of removing things from your lungs and from your airways. You're actually kind of uh, paralyzing all those uh, hair like projections within there that clean out your lungs. You paralyze those when you inhale the smoke. The proposal would exempt casinos, retail tobacco stores, hookah bars, and private clubs. But it's not sitting well with some local business people, like bar owner Bruce Edelman. Edelman says that with other businesses exempt from the bill, bars like his could lose business. Business they can't survive without. But there's people out there that just in the last few years has gone out and mortgaged their homes. They've gone in debt. They've borrowed money from the banks. They've borrowed money from their family. They're not going to be able to pay this back. They're going to lose their bars. But more than the loss of revenue, he worries about the loss of liberty for private businesses. I want the marketplace to dictate to me what I'm going to do. I, I, I don't want the city council. I don't want the state of Indiana. I don't want the federal government to tell me I, I can or cannot do a legal act in my own business. And he worries that freedom may soon go up in smoke. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Tony Cassasia, Joe Ostrowski, News 10. The smoking ban still has to get approval from the state senate and from Governor Daniels.